Okay, so in this chapter, we will be creating eyelashes. So as you can see, we have May open up here. Uh, we've turned off her hair, however, and we have one eyelash created, or eyelashes for her above, but we're going to be applying that to the right side. As you notice, she doesn't have any below. That's just the uh, style that we have for this character. So... If you watch carefully, I'm going to go to frame 25, which will bring her eyelids close. And it works quite nicely. So that's what we're going to be showing you how to do. We have two groups of paint effects. Let me just turn on selection eye lighting so you can see that. All right, so longer eyelash left and eyelash ends left so it's just two groups of eyelashes now we have for her left side of her eye but we might create three for our right side just to show you you know you don't actually need to create two you can actually create more groups pain effect groups than just two so let's just see how it goes we might create two we might create three let's see how it goes all right so before we even dive into that let me just go back to frame one all right i'll just move that around so you can see the settings in our attribute editor that we have for our paint effects all right so sample density is set at two seed is also set at two and those two are what we're going to be editing in that area the most. Everything else is pretty much standard. Normal direction, however, we have uh, use normal turned on. And in our next tab, let's go right back up. Global scale is set at 0 0.260. And stamp density is set at three i think that's the only thing i really edited there uh under tubes and creation we have length min at 0.1 length max at 0 0.750 and those were the only two that we actually edited of course you can always save presets which are always handy same thing for our other tab right there which we did but in this case we're just going to go through some of the process that we did for the left onto the right so you can actually see how we edit the paint effects for the eyelashes and so forth so uh, under modeling we're going to go to get brush and i'll just just move that out of the way probably minimize that just for a little bit so you can actually see that right there and uh, I'll turn off selection highlighting all right go back up to generate and let's get a paintbrush once we select get paintbrush uh, the visor comes up we'll be going under our paint effects tab and scroll down to here as you can see this is all the current paint effects under here that we have in Maya 2016. Now we're also going to be applying that to the eyebrows as well. But the eyebrow paint effect, not the eyelashes. And as you can see, we have the eyelashes paint effects that we created there for me. We have a whole host of others. All right, we have here Google Cool, Fuzz, uh, Full Short Gray, Wet Hair, Hair That Girl, I guess for Long Hair, and so forth all right but we don't really use well at least i don't use those uh for long hair we have clouds we have galactic we have a whole host of different type of paint effects that you can go in and try and experiment with but for now we're going to just go into our hair folder and apply those i just wanted to show you just what we have in the visor so let me turn back on selection eye lighting yep i got that one selected let me just select our model there we go all right uh let's see we're in modeling right now 
Let's see, rigging, rendering, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll be, well, we won't be using cache right now. We'll do that in the later chapter. For now, let's go back down, make paintable in under our generate menu, my tab. And let's select our, all right, we'll go under there. All right, so we're selected make paintable. Okay, so let's select eyelashes. And actually, let me, oh, that's why, yeah. So when we do, you'll notice that there's a little, actually, let me go to perspective. There we go. So if you notice, there's a little, let me turn that off. Yeah, turn off selection highlighting so you can actually see it better. So if you notice that there's a little red dot that follows our little pencil icon, that display right there, that little red dot right there, is actually our uh, pencil, or in this case, paint effects brush size. If you hold on B and press the left key, you can actually increase the size. And you'll notice that it's actually clinging to the surface of our model made. So if I double click on that paintbrush icon, we can bring up the settings. Well, in this case, bring up the stroke settings. And of course, we have different pressure maps that you can actually go through, experiment with them, see what you get. but we just use our normal pressure map one and scale. We didn't use anything else for that, so I'm gonna just close that off, that's just fine. All right, let me just navigate in a little bit better. All right, and let me just adjust this paintbrush to get a size similar to what we did for the left. So as you can see for this example, we have painted both the upper and the lower eyelashes just to give you uh, an idea of what the eyelashes would look like concerning our paint direction. As you can see, we have the paint direction uh, for our right side clockwise, whereas in the left side is counterclockwise for this example here. So let's just get back to our painting of the eyelashes for character May. Start from there and paint in that direction. If you notice that it ends there, it starts to curve upwards. That's exactly what you want. So I'll stop right there. Yeah, I think I'll create three instead of two this time. So there we go. As you can see, it somewhat curves upwards, but let's just go across here and change a few settings before I show you exactly why we paint from that direction. First things first, let me change seed to uh, 2, to a value of 2. Sample density, we'll do the same thing, set that to 2. Alright, so that's much better. And uh, yeah, now we can scroll down, end bounds is fine. Okay, now once I select use normal, you'll see exactly why we paint from that direction. All right, once I select use normal, it snaps exactly how we want the flow to be. All right, so that's why we paint from that direction and not the other direction. I'm going to set my normal X to negative 1. All right, because I'm on the right side. Now, if I was on the left side, I would keep that at a value of 1, like on the left side there. But since it's on, let me just jump in front view. You see how it's on the left side. Because it's on the right side, we're going to have it at negative 1. All right, that's, that's the only major change, really, with that one. Yeah, we'll set that to a yeah, value of negative 1. And as you can see, the flow is uh, pretty fine. We'll just paint in this one right there. 
And let me just go back up and add a few more settings. We'll put that back at two. Sample density will also put that at two. All right, which will make sure that the flow is all nice. And I will select use normal. I will also set that to a value of negative one. Yeah, so far, so good. All right, and you can see it, it, it more or less mirrors that. Because as you see here, normal is set to an x of positive 1, so negative 1, whereas in the stroke on the right, it's set to negative 1. All right, so that's just something that you want to keep in mind. Any eyelashes that are on the right, the x value is going to be negative 1. Whereas in the eyelid value, well, the eyelash values on the left is going to be set to 1. All right, as long as you remember that, you should be fine. Okay. Now let me just add in the last one, and then I may change values a little bit in the X. For instance, first, let me do that one there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did not do that one correctly. Yeah, that one's that one isn't right. Let me do this again. First let me yeah, zoom in a little bit better. And I'll start from there. Go right up there. Right. I think that can work. Yeah, that can work. Move that out of the way. Go back up again. Make that value. Two uh, sample density also two. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Turn on use normal direction and let me make this a value of negative one. Okay, and now that I've noticed it, yeah, I should probably increase that value. So you know what? I'll make that negative one point five. Ah, much better. Now, of course, now I need to do the same thing for the other two. So let me do just that. Uh, where, where? Ah, there you are. All right. So that one. Let me start with that one there. I'll make that negative one point five. Ah, much better. All right, I think I can do the same thing for that one as well. And that one will be same value, negative 1.5. Yeah, that, that's much better. Yeah, much better. Okay, and of course we have all our settings, but I'm not going to be using these, these presets for that one yet. All right, so not a, let's take one last look here. Okay, right, let me go over to eyelash two. Let me see what the settings are for our left side. All right, notice that the global scale is set to 0.6. That's a little too high. So let's see what we got here. We got 0 0.260. So I need to apply that value over there. So I'll do that. So 60. All right. Ah, much better. All right. So that actually knows what we have there. Let's do that to stroke eyelash two as well. Two six zero. Okay, good. And actually, let me bring this up and stroke number three point two six zero. Okay, good. But we're not done yet. So let's see. Stamp density is set at three. Is it? Yes, that's fine. Same thing for that one. 
yes. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit. Twist seems to be fine, so I'll close that off. Uh, let's see, same thing for mesh, I'm guessing, yes. Let me see here. Yes, that is fine, that value is fine, so I'll close that off as well. Let's come down to creation and see what we got. So if you notice, we have 1 and 1.54 length min and max and start tube zero and so forth but i don't think those values have been edited except for length min and max so let's see what we got for that which was yep 0.1 and 0.75 all right so let's do the same thing for these others same thing for that one as well yes all right so let's do that for the right side let me just size our outliner down a little better. Okay, so let's change this. Length min, let's make that 0.1. And max, let's make that 0.75. Okay, good. All right, yeah, now we're working here. Let's just the same. Let's do the same thing for... Stroke eyelash 2, 0.1, and 0.75. Okay, and last but not least, stroke eyelash 3, 0.1, and 0.75. All right, I think we got what we need here. Let me just take a last look here and we go to front view yeah that looks good as you can see the left is definitely just like the right side all right everything looks all good let me just name these appropriately because the last thing i want is to uh, have to be confused as to which is which all right so what I'm going to do here, instead of typing all that, I'm going to just copy the name that we have here. For our long eyelash left. And I'm going to apply that to the right. So I'm going to just double click and control V. I'll change that to right. Nice. Eyelash ends underscore left. I'll do the same thing for that one too. And I shall apply that to stroke eyelash two. And call that start actually, because remember we have three, we don't have two. And this one we'll call that end. Hmm. Now, although I named them that, there is something missing. We need to add that right, that word right to it. Ah, uh, there we go. Much better. Do the same thing for this one here too. Right, underscore, end. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I think we got everything that we need here. In our next chapter, we will be doing the eyebrows, so let's get started.